The bar is a metric unit of pressure, defined by the IUPAC as exactly equal to 100,000 a It is about equal to the atmospheric pressure on Earth at sea level, and since 1982 the IUPAC has recommended that the standard for atmospheric pressure should be harmonized to 100,000 a par equals 1 a bar a per mil 750.0616827 at all. The same definition is used in the compressor and the pneumatic tool industries. The bar and the millibar were introduced by the British meteorologist William Napier Shaw in 1909, while he was the director of the Meteorological Office in London. Units derived from the bar are the megabar, kilobar, decibar, centibar, and millibar. These are not SI or CGS units, but they are accepted by the BIPM for use with the SI. The bar is legally recognized in countries of the European Union. The bar unit is considered deprecated by some entities. While the BIPM includes it under the class non-SI units accepted for use with the SI, the NIST includes it in the list of units to avoid and recommends the use of kilopascals and megapascals instead. The IAU also lists it under non-SI units and symbols whose continued use is deprecated. Bar, G, is a unit of gauge pressure, that is, pressure in bars above ambient or atmospheric pressure. See absolute pressure and gauge pressure below. Definition and conversion, the bar is defined using the SI unit pascal, namely, 1 a bar a per mil 100,000 a par 1 a bar is therefore equal to, 100 a kilopascal, 1 a, 105 a in m2, 1 million a dyne per centimeter 2, 0 0.987 a atm, 14.5038 a psi absolute, 29.53 a in hg, 750.06 a m hg, 750.06 a tor, 1019.72 a cmh2o, origin. The word bar has its origin in the Greek word I squared iii, meaning weight. The unit's official symbol is bar. The earlier symbol B is now deprecated, and conflicts with the use of B as a unit symbol to denote the barn, but it is still encountered, especially as MB to denote the millibar. Usage Atmospheric air pressure is often given in millibars where standard sea level pressure is defined as 1000 a millibar, 100 a kilopascal, or 1 a bar. This should be distinguished from the now deprecated unit of pressure, known as the atmosphere, which is equal to 1.01325 a bar. Despite the millibar not being an SI unit, Meteorologists and weather reporters worldwide have long measured air pressure in millibars as the values are convenient. After the advent of SI units, some meteorologists began using hectopascals which are numerically equivalent to millibars. For the same reason, the hectopascal is now the standard unit used to express barometric pressures in aviation in most countries. For example, the Weather Office of Environment Canada uses kilopascals and hectopascals on their weather maps. In contrast, Americans are familiar with the use of the millibar in U.S. reports of hurricanes and other cyclonic storms. In fresh water, there is an approximate numerical equivalence between the change in pressure in decibars and the change in depth from the water surface in meters. Specifically, an increase of 1 decibar occurs for every 1.019716 am increase in depth. In sea water with respect to the gravity variation, the latitude and the geopotential anomaly the pressure can be converted into meters depth according to an empirical formula. As a result, decibars are commonly used in oceanography. Many engineers worldwide use the bar as a unit of pressure because, in much of their work, Using pascals would involve using very large numbers. In the automotive field, turbocharger boost is often described in bars in the metric part of the world. Unicode has characters for MB and bar, but they exist only for compatibility with legacy Asian encodings and are not intended to be used in new documents. The kilobar, equivalent to 100 MPa, is commonly used in geological systems, particularly in experimental petrology. Absolute pressure and gauge pressure, fluid and tube pressure gauges, vehicle tire gauges, and many other types of pressure gauges are zero reference to atmospheric pressure, which means that they measure the pressure above atmospheric pressure. This is gauge pressure and is often referred to in writing as barg or bar, g, 
spoken as bar gauge. In contrast, absolute pressures are zero reference to a complete vacuum and when expressed in bars are often referred to as bar L bar, A. Thus, the absolute pressure of any system is the gauge pressure of the system plus atmospheric pressure. The usage of Barra and Barg is now deprecated, with qualification of the physical property being preferred, for example, the gauge pressure is 2.3 a bar. The absolute pressure is 3.3 a bar. In the United States, where pressures are still often expressed in pounds per square inch, gauge pressures are referred to as Fsig and absolute pressures are referred to as Psia. Gauge pressure is also sometimes spelled as gauge pressure. Sometimes, the context in which the word pressure is used helps to identify it as meaning either the absolute or gauge pressure. However, for best practice, whenever a pressure is expressed in any units, it should be denoted in some manner as being either absolute or gauge pressure to avoid any possible misunderstanding. One recommended way of doing so is to spell out what is meant, for example as bar gauge or kilopascal absolute. See also, conversion of units, orders of magnitude, references. This article incorporates material from the Citizendium article bar, which is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 imported license but not under the GFDL. External links, official SI website, Table 8. Non-SI units accepted for use with the SI.